Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this digital circuit and we have been given that this circuit generates the modified clock pulse at the output. So here, the duty cycle of the input clock pulse is at 20% and we have been asked to find the duty cycle of the output waveform. So if you see this circuit, then it is made up of the JK flip-flop. So as you can see over here, this preset and the clear inputs are the active low and both the inputs are kept at the logic high. It means that it will not have any impact on the JK flip-flop and the output of the JK flip-flop will only depend on the inputs J and the K. So this is the truth table of the JK flip-flop and as you can see, when both J and K inputs are 1, then the output of this JK flip-flop will toggle at the every clock edge. So here, let's say, the output of this flip-flop is equal to QA. So now, when we apply these clock pulses to the JK flip-flop, then this QA output will change at the every clock edge. So as you can see over here, this QA output and this clock pulses are applied to the NAND gate. But for a moment, let's assume that it is applied to the AND gate. And if we see that output, then that will be equal to output bar. Because as you know, the output of the NAND gate is nothing but the AND gate followed by the NOT gate. That means instead of the NAND gate, if we see the output of the AND gate, then in this case, it will be equal to output bar. And if we see the waveform, then this is how it will look like. Because as you know, the output of the AND gate will be high when both the inputs are high. So this is how the output bar will look like. So here, we have been given that the duty cycle of this clock pulses is equal to 20% and as you know the duty cycle of the clock pulse can be given by this expression that is the on time of the clock pulse divided by the total time period times 100% so here let's say this on time of the clock pulse is equal to 2 millisecond so for the 20% duty cycle this time period should be equal to 10 millisecond right because in that case this duty cycle will become 2 millisecond divided by 10 millisecond times 100% and that is equal to 20%. So now, if we see the duty cycle of this output bar, then that will be equal to 10% because here, this on time is still equal to 2 millisecond. But now, if you see this total time period, then it has been doubled. That means instead of the 10 millisecond, now that will be equal to 20 millisecond. That means if we see the duty cycle of this output bar, then that will be equal to this 2 millisecond divided by 20 millisecond times 100%. And that will be equal to 10%. So as you can see, the duty cycle of this output bar will be equal to 10%. So here, instead of the AND gate, we have a NAND gate. And if we see the output of this NAND gate, then it will be exactly opposite to the output bar. That means the output of the NAND gate will look like this. So now, the OFF time is equal to 10% while the ON time is equal to 90%. So we can say that the duty cycle of this output waveform is equal to 90%. That means for the given digital circuit, the duty cycle of this output waveform will be equal to 90%. And therefore, for the given question, this D is the correct answer.